good morning hey y'all what it is what's up i haven't seen y'all in forever <laughs> okay and that's because your girl been studying okay i've been preparing for this board exam that's literally two weeks away um so yeah so i've been mia and honestly rightfully so but my apologies actually you know why i actually <laughs> picked this uh camera back up is because somebody reached out to me on instagram i think yesterday or like the day yesterday or the day before and they're like uh sir where's our youtube video <laughs> and so i'm like okay let me um let me get back to it since the girls are the girls are screaming at me okay um but yeah so we are back and today is tuesday so it's the start of another week i don't even know what week it is anymore sorry y'all um but i have a patient all day today thankfully um they are a level cal 2 and good news uh last time i think did i tell you i failed my cal 2 comp well either way i failed a cal 2 comp okay i don't know if i ever told y'all that or not but I failed one. <laughs> and so I ended up retaking um, that Cal 2 comp and I passed. So that was great. And I also felt like I really built my um, my skills at that time, especially my hand scaling skills. Like I felt super confident, but also I realized how much a patient being numb changes a lot of things. <laughs> um, yeah, local anesthetic is like the best thing ever because you can really... Um, you can really do the best for the patient because you can just clean so much deeper. Yeah, it's it's so great. But anyway, uh, so that's new. I comped on that. So all I have left to finish is a Cal 2, I mean, two Cal 3 competencies. I need to do an arrest and placement. I need to finish two continuing care patients and one perio maintenance patient. So I have a few things to finish up and... Um, and yeah, I, I I really won't feel super comfortable until then. Um, yeah, so we still got some things to finish up in clinic and hopefully I can get them all done very soon because this is, it's still March, but we only have April left and that's it. So yeah. <laughs> and then we also last week took a practice HESI exam and I actually did pretty well. I got a 92.13, so that basically means I'm pretty, I did pretty well. I will say I have to do, I did pretty well. Um, I don't feel super confident yet for my board exam because there are some things that I still don't like have a full grasp of. <laughs> um, so mo mostly like patient dentition, especially like the, um, the children's dentition. I should have that together, like the eruption pattern, but I don't, I don't, sorry, oops. Um, and then like a few other things I really need to get into. Um, radiology still has been a slight struggle and then oral pathology has also been a little bit of a struggle for me as well. So yeah, but that HESI exam though, 92.13 baby, that's pretty good. <laughs> You know, and they say the HESI, typically you score a little higher on the board exam. So that's exciting. And I'm still studying. Have I studied as hard as I have been? No, not really. So I'm going to get back into the books this week for sure. Um, everything's going really well for a TWU. I have two A's in that in those classes right now. Everything's looking pretty good. Graduation stuff is signed up for. Oh my God, we paid for board exams. We got an email about board exams. I read through that last night. It's all coming towards an end. And I don't want this to be too long, but I'm on my way to school. I had to catch y'all up because it's been so freaking long. Oh my God, uh, so much has happened. But that's basically the gist of it. Everything is on its way up. I'm not super confident in everything yet, but hopefully by the end of this week, <laughs> I should be very confident because I think I have my Cal 3 patient coming in. And if I could comp on both of those, um, quadrants that they have and finish up my competencies at least I will feel so much better because then all I have is my requirements left and those should be easy to knock out so yeah 
Mm, I think that's it. Look, if I think of anything else, I will definitely pick this camera right back up, but I am on my way to school. I will check in with y'all at lunch and we will see how the scaling is going today. See y'all in a bit. Ciao. Hey y'all, what it is? What's up? School is over. I am back home. Clinic was pretty successful today, I will say. Um, I had a patient all day. We started from starting the dental hygiene care plan. So I basically got that together. Um, I did that in the morning before. And then I just did medical history EOIO and then jumped right into getting that checked and did my explosion codes. But I actually made a mistake on this. Oh my God. Sorry, my brother, he, he, he like burns this like you know he does like the smudging and stuff and oh my god it i'm not a fan i'm sorry not a fan i think it smells horrendous and honestly sometimes i think to myself like am i like the devil <laughs> because every time i smell i'm like bleh, bleh. and i'm like am i just a am i just a demon like and it just like comes out of me every time he burns that sage and i'm like Aah. but chow anyway that's why it's, ugh, it just smells horrible but anyway i'm sorry yeah, I had a patient come in and I kind of made a mistake on her care plan because I should have just been in my head. I was thinking, oh, if this one area is bad, you kind of want to treat the whole mouth that way. But that's not how that works. Duh. We have different codes. You know, you got a 4341, 4342, 4346, 4910, you know, and so on and so forth. So, oh yeah, I made a mistake today with that. So it just, I just need to make sure I'm paying attention to my perio chart and trusting the information that I already recorded. Hello. Hello. Um, that also was good practice for like, um, case studies too, because we're, that's kind of like my big, biggest worry when it comes to the board exams is case studies. So yeah, so I made that mistake, but I completely finished the patient, um, should have, obviously. They were a two all around, so I was able to scale all the quads. So I did go a little over time, but that's fine, honestly, as long as I got it done today. It was really imperative that I got it done because they are a 46 week, because they are 43, 42, um, and those three, 43, 41, 4342 4341 I don't know. I now I'm confused. <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. Oh my god. 4341 is more teeth cuz the number is lower. So 4342 is less teeth, right? I don't know. See, you see how my brain works? Like there's so much in my brain that I forget like the little stuff. But anyway, we completed that patient. That was exciting. That was very good. And I have a patient coming in Thursday, which is my Cal 3 patient. And um, this patient has canceled on me before. And I messaged them earlier today just to confirm that they would still be able to come in. So I'm going to message them again here soon and if not i will be calling somebody else to come on in to get cleaning because i don't have time to play with getting more zeros you know so it's just you know it is what it is so i'm actually gonna check on that um yeah i got that patient coming in on thursday tomorrow i need to get these things done i have teslas that i have to finish oh my god i gotta finish those and then um, I need to study tonight too. So I have a lot going on. Um, I don't want to make this too long, but oh my God, I haven't done this in so long. So I feel like I'm brand new again. So I'm just talking forever, but that's kind of the tea. That's what's going on right now. I will catch up with y'all tomorrow before school. Ciao. Hey y'all, what it is? What's up? I am leaving school. It is pretty late, obviously, but that's because today were interviews it actually was the last day of interviews for the new class of entering um our program so i gave them tours around the campus and things like that so that was really exciting to see the new class is going to be coming in um yeah it's really exciting but today we just had didactic courses today we just went through we actually had two guest speakers today so in the morning we obviously had our community class and we had a guest speaker who came in and talked about um, 
like correctional working as a hygienist in correctional facilities um honestly benefits are amazing um but you know as a black person you know i think working in a facility like that could be mentally very draining for me so as much as i would love the benefits the benefits are crazy I don't know if I could do it. I think, I don't know. I would have to try, even though I would be making a difference, you know, I, yeah. I think it would break my heart going in there every day. So, yeah. And that's what we did this morning and then this afternoon, we actually had someone come in and help us out with like resumes and things like that. And they also did a cool little lunch and learn for us as well. So they also brought us food. But tomorrow I have a patient all day. I'm so excited. The goal is to get them completely finished. And I my goal is to, knock out two Cal 3 competencies, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, slay them and then finish, that will be, I will be done with all of my competencies for this semester and then all I have to work on is my requirements. So, tomorrow is the day, baby. Tomorrow is the day where Michael smashes it out and he finishes all his competencies. I am claiming it. <laughs> so, that is the goal for tomorrow. I'm super excited. This patient, um, also, I have to be really careful because they have some special needs as well. So I need to make sure I pay attention to their special needs and make sure that we make them as comfortable as possible so that I can get their teeth cleaned um, efficiently and precisely. So yeah, that's what's going on tomorrow. It's been a great day. Sorry I didn't make a video this morning. Nothing really was going on. So yeah, I will check in with y'all tomorrow morning. I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Ciao. Hey y'all, what it is? What a bonjour à toutes. I am on my way to school this morning. We've got clinic all day. I've got a patient all day. The goal is to get them completely finished with their cleaning and to finish all of my competencies today. That doesn't mean all my requirements. I still have a couple requirements to finish up, but today I will be finishing all of my competencies. So I'm super excited. I am, I was, in my head, I want to say I'm a little nervous, but I'm not really a little nervous. Like now at this point, it's like either do or die. Like either we're going to make it or you're not. So like, you know, and I want to make it because <laughs> I only got, what, like a month left. So yeah, it's time to, to finish up these competencies and move on and feel comfortable about just, you know, cleaning patients and not worrying about having to finish those like competencies you know so then I can really focus on like being really like indiv individualized with my treatments and things like that so yeah here we go today is the day and then I will catch up with y'all you know what I always say I'll catch up with y'all at lunch we're gonna try I'm actually gonna try today because I'm gonna do one comp in the morning one comp in the afternoon I have to check and see how far or what's the next step on this patient. I don't know if I still have to clean quad two at all or if I can just start with quad three. So I will catch up with y'all at lunch and hopefully everything goes really well today. <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all later, ciao. Hey guys, what it is, what's up? I thought I would update y'all. Um, so my patient, <coughs> who I confirmed, excuse me, who I confirmed with on Tuesday and also sent a message to last night that I know that they read because it said their red receipts are on. Um, they basically no called, no show this morning and then just blocked me. And they were my Cal 3 comps, which were the last two competencies that I needed to finish. But you know what? As much as I want to tell them how much, how much I really feel about them, I, Called my other Cal 3 patient. They're coming in this afternoon. We'll comp on that, we'll pass that comp, and then we will find another Cal 3 patient to work on. And I also scheduled another one of my friends for April, and so I have that month booked out, all those Fridays booked out. So honestly, you know, when one door closes, another one opens, and if somebody doesn't appreciate your services and the things that you're doing for them, that's okay, you know? It is no reflection of you, it is more of a reflection on them. So yeah, as much as I'm upset, you know, say la vie, we'll move on, and I will update y'all after the second clinic session and let y'all know when I pass, okay?
Ciao. Hey y'all, don't judge me. I am back home in my bed, okay? And so today, y'all already know my patient basically, you know, didn't show up this morning and it was an all day patient, but I was able to get one of my friends to come in this afternoon. And then when I was able to get them to come in, I was able to explore their quads um, because they only had one more quad of Cal 3 for me to finish, which was the fourth quad. But as I'm exploring them out during EOIO, I noticed that quad three kind of has some calculus already because the last time I scaled them was back in November. So, I mean, at this point, they're basically due for cleaning anyway. So I'm thinking, okay, this is probably almost like a cow three again. So I'm thinking, okay, I am going to still comp on quad four, but I'm going to ask my professors if they can check quad three and, you know, kind of give it a cow level and see what they think about it. So that's what my professor does. And guess what? Guess who got two quads of Cal 3, just enough that they need so that they can finish all their competencies? Me! <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, seriously, I said earlier, when one door closes, another one opens, like, man, whew, I am truly thankful that my patient canceled because then I never would have had my other patient. And you know what's so funny? My other patient that I called, they don't even live near where I go to school, where the clinic is. So for them to be in the area and they don't even like, oh my God, at, in the area at the exact time that I needed them to be, ah, you know, sometimes, sometimes things don't work out how you expect them to, but they work out perfectly. So, yeah. That is how today went. So, I am happy. I have... Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. I actually comped and I mother... <laughs> passed! <laughs> so, I have one more competency to get done. And then that's it. One more competency, a couple of other requirements. I need to finish a couple of patients and then I need to, need to start and finish a whole other patient. And then I need to do a rest in. So yeah, like after I get this other Cal 3 comp done, I will feel so much better. But that's kind of like the, the last thing that's on my mind. Like that's what I, yeah, 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 yeah. Once I get that done, then I'll feel a lot more relaxed. But and hopefully I can get that done before my board exam in a couple of weeks because I'm already stressing out about that. I need to actually start studying for that right now. So I will check in with y'all tomorrow. No, no, I won't. This is the last last day. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Happy Easter. Ciao. Baby, tell me what you like. You're the only one I want to have for.